Welcome back. It is time for a rave review. All right, up first, a new rom-com TV show is hitting Netflix tomorrow. It's called Nobody Wants This, starring Kristen Bell and Adam Brody. Okay, this is a story, let me just give you the little synopsis first, about a very unconventional relationship between a Jewish rabbi and an agnostic woman. I mean, talk about throwing a dartboard at a bunch of sticky notes to see what sticks. I'm like, okay, the guy is gonna be a rabbi and the girl is gonna be an agnostic. Let's see what happens. But here's the thing, <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. It's really good, I've already watched all 10 episodes. Uh, it feels real in the sense like it's not super cliche in the sense of what we expect from rom-com. I mean, are there moments? Yes. But is the writing super witty and really sharp? Like, do people really talk like that? No, but do I believe it? Yes. Was I hooked? Yes. I really enjoyed the not over the top sense of this about two people really falling in love and having so many obstacles because it really does happen with couples who have different beliefs. How are they gonna make it work? Um, take a look at the trailer. We've done this podcast for like 119 episodes and this story you're telling, it just sounds like very familiar. All right, I could make healthier relationship choices. Mm-hmm. Hi everyone, I'm Joanne. I'm Noah. Did you know there's a rabbi here? He's your friend. There's not a Jewish bone in her body. You're the rabbi? It's hot, right? I burn for you. And then we walked down the street and he said, Hand me your ice cream. Okay, and did you do what you were told? I mean, obviously. Oof. Yes, chef. I mean, is there a world where this works? You called me your friend in front of the teens whose opinion I care about most. That was so sus. I don't know why I love the show, but I do. I got through the first episode and I went, this kind of reminds me of White Lotus because nothing's happening, but yet everything's happening. I, I even told Maddie, I was like, nothing's happening, but I can't stop watching. But it's because it's real life. Kind of, I mean, similar to real life. It's not real life. It's, it is heightened, if you will. Great ensemble cast. And again, if you're waiting for something big and dramatic to happen, it's not gonna happen. It's just really relationship-centered about what do you do when people of different faiths try to come together, especially when his family's very against her. Anyway, there's a lot of twists and turns, but they're believable. I love them together. I don't know if they were friends in real life before this or whatnot. That's gonna be awkward if you're kissing your friend on camera, but anyway. Uh, I love them together though, I really do. All 10 episodes are out tomorrow on Netflix. I think it's very fun and it's a really fun binge, especially for this weekend if you want to. Okay, now let's get to some fun guys. You ready for some Fox premieres? Premieres are happening this week. Guess what's coming tomorrow night on Fox? Season three, my favorite cooking show, Crime Scene Kitchen. Joel McHale is back as the host and a group of new bakers are back to solve the mysteries of this crime scene kitchen. Take a look at this. Crime scene kitchen. <laughs> Drama, pressure, baked goods, Ooh. sweeping lights, and smokier than ever before. Crime scene kitchen is <coughs> back. Season three of Crime Scene Kitchen is the toughest season yet. There's new challenges, harder clues, and we've got international bakers from around the world. Eat your heart out, Julia Child. Competition! Six teams of family members and six teams of friends go head to head to scope out the clues, then recreate the mystery dessert. <laughs> we got pears, plums, yeast for tarts. What is this? The already loose bonds of friendship should start fraying by now. What are we going to do? Recreate the mystery dessert. Oh my god! And they're one step closer to a $100,000 prize. Yeah! As long as you don't get distracted, which is what I'll be doing constantly. You're done. Okay. You're done. See you later. Bye, Joe. Guys, that is tomorrow night season three premiere at eight o'clock on Fox. I love this show. I try to figure out the mysteries all the time. I'm never right because I've never heard of some of these desserts, just so you know. They make it hard. And then finally, guys, guess what? Finally, tonight, tonight, Mass Singer season 12 premiere. Can you even believe it? Seven o'clock, right here on Fox, a new group of mass celebrities are back to try to win the Golden Trophy. We'll dive more into the characters in just a minute, but first, let's take a sneak peek at what you can expect tonight on the premiere. It's time to face the music. I love this part. The biggest mystery on TV is back. Hi there. Can we get some lights in here, please? Let's Better. Let's get loud, Mass Singer! Yeah! The Mass Singer returns with more clues than ever before.
people. There will be masks, there will be singing, there will be guessing. There will be blood. What? It's all in the details. Anything can be a clue. Cowboy clues. There was a mere clue. What are those symbols? More clues. Mass performers are hitting the high notes while keeping their identities low key. Get ready. Keep your eyes open. Your ears tuned. And your mind sharp. Watch the new season of The Mass Singer premiering September 25th on Fox. Guys, okay, so here's the thing. I'm gonna bring in Maddie. We won't have time to get to all the characters, but we have some character reveals for tonight. I've already watched the premiere, and by the way, super duper surprise tonight. I did not see it coming. Okay. Be on the lookout for a super surprise. I was like, whoa. Did not expect that. Really quick, yeah. is it like the Demi, De Demi Lovato secret say. surprise that we had last season? Okay. I can't say, Maddie, I've been sworn to secrecy. So let's take a look at some of the characters and just your, your opinions. Okay, we have Bluebell. Been there, done that. Haven't we already had a flower? It looked like Tulip. Yeah. Remember Tulip? I do think it's very similar. Yes. Good call. Okay, let's move on to Buffalo. Oh, okay. I ain't mad. Yeah. Should we wear that to Buffalo Run Casino and Resort? We should, <laughs> yes. Should we wear that next time we go? I think so. Okay. We are the new mascots. I'm in. <laughs> Okay, I chess love her. Piece. I love, I love chess piece. I don't know if it's female, it's looking like it is, but I love this. By the way, could we email Fox and try to get some costumes and that could be our Halloween costume? That Former Mass Singer costumes? We have our people talk to their people. Yeah, okay. okay. I love that one too. Uh, this is Dust Bunny. <laughs> I try to get them out of my house, but this is a cute Dust Bunny. Yeah, it's cute, I like it. Very cute face, I like the little teeth. Goo. Goo. Man, I'm, I'm sure because of copyright, they couldn't do flubber, but. Or slime. Or slime, yeah, oh yeah. Goo. Goosebumps. I do. Yeah. Oh, goo, there we go, okay. Goosebumps. Uh, let's see, Ice King. Oh, I kind of like that. I like him a lot. I'm digging Ice King. Yeah. That's kind of fun. I, I love the head piece. Reminds me of an old school uh, like video game character. Yeah. I love it. Okay, and then we have uh, Leaf Sheep. I don't even know what a leaf sheep is. What if is? anybody feels like Googling that now, that would be great. A leaf sheep. Leaf sheep, yeah. I have no idea. They took. Uh, macaron. Look, Ooh. it's a macaron. It's a macaron. It's a macaron. Delicious to eat. Oh, royal, look, we have another, like, we had the king, and now we have a royal knight. And we have the queen. Oh, Sherlock Hound. I, okay, I saw this one. I, I like it. Uh, ship. Okay. It's an extravagant costume. Yeah. I love the face piece. Heavy. Uh, showbird. Mm-hmm. That looks like it could be at a theme park. Strawberry shortcake, that's very similar to one we've seen before though. Didn't we have like a, oh, wasp. Ooh. I like that one. And then woodpecker. Wood okay. I, I mean, again, yeah. you're gonna I mean, see a lot of great performances. Yes, yes. All right guys, don't go anywhere. More fun on Ozark's Fox AM after this. I like the bigger costumes. Like I'm thinking, because they've had so few.